Hi guys, so I'm so sorry about my voice. I've been filming all day and I'm losing my voice, but I'm doing a bridal tutorial today. I've had so many requests on my Instagram and on my Twitter. Everyone wants to see a bridal tutorial. And there's just a few things I want to mention. When you do get married, just really make sure that you're just enhancing your beauty. Don't try to change your look too much. You know, fashion statements or with dark eyes and dark lips. The best tip I've ever gotten from my mom is, you know, you will look at the wedding photos you know 10 20 years from now and i think it's so much better to just have a really beautiful natural look so i hope that you like this makeup tutorial don't forget to give it some thumbs up and leave me some nice comments and i see you very soon thanks for watching bye Okay, so I'm starting on Brie with a primer. I actually already applied the primer. This one here is called Hourglass number 28. You have very dry skin, that's why I chose this primer. Um, it's very important for your wedding day to know your skin type. So this primer obviously is not for everybody because not everybody has dry skin. So you have to really make sure that a month before you are getting married that you see a facialist and find out exactly what your skin type is and choose the right primer for your wedding day. Um, all right, so I applied that already on your skin and it gives you just a really nice glow and the makeup will sit really beautifully on it. And I chose the Armani foundation. This one is not in the original packaging because I carry uh, these little bottles on set with me. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 5.5. The reason why I chose this foundation is I personally think that the Armani foundation is the perfect foundation for a wedding because it doesn't have any SPF in it. And uh, a lot of foundations do have SPF in them and it will give you flashback on your wedding pictures. So make sure even if this is uh, too high of a budget and if it's too expensive, make sure that you do choose a foundation with no SPF. I'm applying it with this Dior foundation brush all over your skin. Okay, so I just applied the Armani foundation on you and I just want to mention one more thing. When you're getting married, lots of times obviously you're showing your decollete and you really want to make sure that your foundation matches your body part. So I did go a little bit darker. That's another really important tip. Don't make your foundation too light. And I'm just going to do a very soft, beautiful brow following her natural growth of her hair and I'm filling in and light little strokes and I also want to create a little bit of arch so I'm just going to lift this I'm just going to fill in where needed all right so I just applied the fling by MAC and I'm going in with my Anastasia and medium ash on a little brush by Uchova and I'm mixing those two colors together and I'm just doing this just to give it a little bit more definition. Like right in here, I feel like it needs a little bit more. Last step to the brows is I'm using a Anastasia brow gel. And the reason is I really want the brows to stay put on the wedding day. So that's something after you put the gel on, you really don't need to worry about them anymore. All right, now I'm gonna move into the eye makeup. Uh, the first thing for a wedding I highly, highly recommend is an eye primer. There's so many eye primers on the market. You can use anything. I chose the Laura Mercier one in the color Wheat. The reason why I like this one because it has a tint to it. So when you see when you apply it, it has, it's almost like a concealer color. And what this does is give your eyelids a really nice color and it also will prime your eyes before you're applying eyeshadow and it will stay put longer. And it also will make it easier for me to apply um, eyeshadow on top of it. But if you can see, this just makes it look very nice and even. 
I think for a wedding it's great to go with a palette because it has everything in it and I love these ones especially because you have all these matte tones and they're all like neutral colors which I really think they're perfect for your skin type and you also have really nice shimmery colors up here. I'm going to go with this color underneath the brows and I'm going to use these in the socket. I might use this brown a little bit and for sure a little bit of the glittery color. So I'm going to go in with that color on the socket. I'm going to use that right in here just to give a little bit more definition. I'm going to bring that also on the outer corners downwards. And then you can take a clean brush. Here, this one here is by Stila. Go in with the lighter color right in here. I'm going to bring that underneath the brows just for highlight. Go in with this color and bring that kind of all over. bring the socket color in a little bit more just to make this a little bit stronger and I'm going to take my chocolate color I'm going to use my NARS brush right here it's just a thinner dome brush and I'm going to bring that in the lower socket right in here just to get a little bit more definition in there I'm going to also bring that downwards just to make that part a little bit darker very lightly you don't want to do it too strong and then you take your 217 brush and then you just blend it you just don't want to see any harsh lines it needs to be all really nicely blended okay I'm gonna use this glittery color now the kind of like on the lower right in here I want something for it to cling to the eyeshadow so I'm gonna use this product here by benefit what's up is perfect because it's a, a cream base it's just a little bit of a highlighter and I'm putting this on my 239 MAC brush and I'm putting that just really close to the lash line right here and kind of like in the middle of her eyelid and then I'm going to go in with this color on the same brush I just give something to like stick to and this is kind of like our highlighting color. Open. I'm also going to bring this highlighting color right in here. So you have a nice little highlight right in the inner corners of your eyes. So when you're being photographed for your wedding day, this is so pretty because it just kind of like opens up your eyes. And it gives a nice little reflection on the picture. Okay, and I'm also going to take the same color I used earlier in the crease, which is this color on my 239 MAC brush. I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line, just to give a little bit more definition on the lower lashes. All right, next step is I'm going in with my Chanel pencil. This is just like a very nice brown, very matte and brown. Now I'm gonna just take this color really close to the lash line. Nothing too heavy. I just want to make the lash in a little bit thicker and then I'm going to take a brush uh, something like this one here by Dior in 24 and I'm just going to blend it so it doesn't look too harsh. I'm not going to do a wing or anything like that I'm just going to make it very soft looking on the outer side of the eye. Open. Perfect. You can also bring, if you look this way, you can also bring that brown very close, so make it a little bit dark right in here, but very thin. I just applied the pencil on the upper lash line, as you can see, very soft. I blended it out a little bit with a brush, and I'm also going to bring it very lightly on the lower lash line, but I'm just going to do it kind of on the outer corners, very close to the lashes, just to get a little bit more definition in there. And I'm using my same Dior brush, and I'm just buffing it in between the lash line just to make it very very soft looking okay so I just curled your lashes off camera and I'm going to use a mascara I chose the Definicils by Lancome and uh, make sure that you're using waterproof mascara on your wedding day as I said earlier you might shed a few tears and you just want to make sure that your eye makeup stays put 
and you don't want your mascara to be running um, away. So just make sure it's waterproof. I'm also using a coat on the lower lash line. All right, so I just applied mascara and I also put in about six individual Ardell lashes on each eye. And then I also put another coat of mascara on. And I think your eye makeup is almost done. I'm also going to use the black color in the palette and I'm using it on my Dior pencil in number 24. And the reason why I'm choosing this black is I just want to intensify the lash line a little bit more. If you open it a little bit and look in the camera, I'm just going to like go right in between the lashes with my brush and close and I'm also going to go on top of the lashes and what this does it just makes it a little bit more richer and darker looking. Okay so the eye makeup is done so so pretty on you. I love yeah. it. And now I'm going in with my concealer. Everyone knows by now that I really love this concealer here. This one is by NARS and the color is custard. Now the, the reason why I do the concealer after the eye makeup is because a lot of times there's residue and eyeshadow falls down and then you have to clean it up anyway. So I like doing it after eye makeup. And one more thing to mention if you are doing a wedding makeup you need to make sure that you're using a concealer that doesn't have any SPF in it again for flashback and you don't want the concealer to be too light you kind of want it to be a little bit lighter just a touch but you kind of want it to match your skin color. Now it's really important right after you apply the concealer, you want to powder, especially on the eye area. And I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Another step of brightening your under eye area. Just a little bit of that. And I will powder the rest of the face later. So just add a little bit of that brightening powder. All right, so now I'm going to contour your face a little bit. And for that, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm using the darker color. I'm also using it on my powder sculpt brush by Charlotte Tilbury. Now, for the wedding day, I really encourage you to only do this step if you know how to contour. You don't really want to look like you have a contour going, especially on your wedding day. This needs to be very soft. The only reason why I recommend you doing this is because on photos your cheeks will look a little bit more chiseled and it will also give you a little bit more definition in your face. I also brought the contour a little bit off camera. I did that. I just put it a little bit right in here because it just kind of the colors tie in really nicely together. And now I'm going to put a little bit of this cheek color. I highly recommend doing a really nice flush color on your wedding day. I love using a cream blush. This one is Lilium, one of my ultimate favorite cream blushes. Looks like that. And I'm applying it on a Tom Ford O2 brush. And I'm just kind of putting it very lightly on the apples of the cheeks. I love a nice flush for bright. I think that's just like so important to choose the right blush color. And I also like a product which is not too shimmery. So I think like a cream blush just gives you that really nice real skin effect. And then if you feel like you've applied too much, you can go in with a foundation brush and just kind of blend it. And now for a little bit of highlighting, I'm going in with my Benefit What's Up and I'm applying it on a brush here by Real Techniques. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight right up here. And this will give you just this beautiful texture on photographs. So you will have a really nice highlight exactly where you need to be highlighted. And you can also put it a little bit on the cubic bow right here. You can use your finger and just put it like right here. So we're almost done with this makeup. I chose this powder here by Laura Mercier. It's the Translucent Loose Powder. I find it very important to choose the right powder for your wedding day again because you don't want to use anything which has too much flashback. Again, white powder sometimes or powders with too much mica in it will just give you that flashback. So I trust this product very much. This Laura Mercier 
product has been in my makeup kit for so many years and I've used it on so many photo shoots and I just really know that this product is foolproof and it's definitely something I will recommend. It's also important to definitely powder the T-zone because you don't want to be shiny on your wedding day. Just about to be done, we're just going to do the lips and I'm using a lip pencil first and for that I chose a product by Makeup Forever and this here is number 5C. I like this product because it's waterproof. I like to just give the lip a little bit of definition first. And then I'm going to go over with my lipstick. And for that I chose a Hourglass product. This one here is called Grace. And I love this color because it's just kind of like your natural lip tone. And for a wedding day, I like to choose colors which are natural. I'm not a big fan of dark lip colors for weddings. Uh, I think it's also important to use a creamy texture of the lipstick. And you want it to be long lasting. And obviously kissable, right? Yeah, that's very, important. <laughs> very important. I'm also going to put a little bit of a lip gloss over it to make it even a little bit more powerful, the color. And this one here is by Tom Ford. I'm just going to put that color like kind of like just in the inside of her lip just to give it a little bit more extra oomph. And you can go like that. And this is the wedding makeup. I hope you like it. <laughs> Beautiful on you. I'm sorry.